Now, getting to the video, this little slide presentation. What I've tried to do was look at insects. I've, I've studied insects and fossils, marine invertebrates all my life. And I often wonder, what do they see when they look out every day? Is something going to eat them? Are they going to eat something? It's like a food chain. And they live in nice, clean water. And uh, the insects today on the earth, and a lot of the four-legged uh, and the birds, most of them are fortunate enough to have clean water to drink from. Um, the insects have a problem with insecticides. And it, that's working its way through the food chain as well. And uh, like Monsanto is one of them. And I hate to talk about corporations, but I think with our awareness of the earth and what we're doing with the internet, uh, the technology that's going on in social media, uh, we're a watchdog. And uh, if we keep doing what we're doing and praying, and the, and the power of prayer is beyond belief, uh, what, what it can do and what it can accomplish, because we're seeing it today. And we're starting to dismantle some of these systems that are trying to take and take and take and take and not give back. Um, for an example with prayer, uh, soon after uh, I got together with Terry, she introduced me to some chiefs from North and South America, and we ended up uh, in 2010 when the Mississippi River was flooding the valley and everybody was crying because everything was being flooded and flooded and flooded. The farmers couldn't do any farming. We got together and we got on a plane and we went up to Lake Atasca and the headwaters of the Mississippi and we all got in a chain across the Mississippi River and we had prayer and it quit raining for three months. So I know that prayer is very powerful even with a small group of people. So there's a lot of, uh, I hold out a lot of hope for, for, for what's going on. But getting back to the slides, um, I photographed a lot, uh, mainly because of Ms. Opson, uh, the calendar reader. He, he taught me the importance of the sun, and what it means to all the four-leggeds and two-leggeds and the things that fly and the things that crawl in, in life in general, and how precious it is and how we depend on it. And I can see why the ancients worshiped the sun, because to them, that was their God. Um, so when you look at this, you're going to see little tiny critters, I mean, as small as a firefly sitting on a milkweed and has been eating all night long and he's looking up over the edge of the leaf and watching the sunrise. But what's going through his mind? What is he seeing? or a, a dragonfly witnessing that, or a spider in a, in a web covered with dew. I watched one spider, she was sitting there and she was going like this, and I couldn't figure out what was that. And I got it back on a monitor, and she was cleaning little droplets of water off of her web. Wow, you know, how meticulous is that? And she's trying to catch some food. So all of these things are, I, I see them at sunrise and sunset. I see a lot of things that are still sleeping through the night and they wake up and things that I've never really been able to capture until I started watching the sunrise and sunset. And then I started noticing all the life around me that's connected. So I, I just want you to sit back and watch this. And there's one little tiny part in there. It's a heart, it's a perfect little heart. And the sun, it looks like it's the sun beaming through. And those are actually shot through the legs of a caterpillar of a monarch butterfly got down and he was sitting on the milk reed pond and I shot it and there was this perfect little heart between his legs. So if you see that, now you know what it is. So other than that, I, I just want you to well, sit back and enjoy it. Uh, I have DVDs here, they're like 10 bucks, 440 pictures on them. Take one home, sit back and watch it. Because I have to watch it again and again to try and figure out what's going on there. But I know it, it, really, it really hits the heart. I'm sorry, the soundtrack is by Terry Rivera and Mark McGuire. Okay, so go ahead and start it, guys. <laughs>